Hello, this is My Mobile Learning Tips, a video podcast series that is meant to help students and teachers make use of mobile technology both in the classroom and on the go. My name is Andreas Hofer and in this episode I'm going to show you some useful apps for field trips and trips abroad. For trips there are literally tons of apps available. Among the most useful are travel guides, dictionaries and language guides, maps, localized search for places to eat out, shop, etc., augmented reality, public transport schedules, as well as communication apps like Skype and WhatsApp. Of course not all of them are free, however there are quite a lot of useful free apps on the Android market or in the App Store. I'm here logged in on the Android market. The first thing I do to find out about useful apps is type in my destination. I'm going on a trip to London with a class of mine, so I type in London. There are a lot of useful free apps for London. An underground map, a city guide, the app version of Time Out magazine, which has all the current events such as musical productions, concerts and cinema schedules. The most convenient thing is to install the apps right from the browser on a PC. All you need to do now is choose which apps you would like to have installed and choose on which device in case you have several Android devices. The chosen apps are instantly downloaded to the phone via push technology. When you are abroad, you might not always be able to connect to the internet, so offline apps might be the best options. Many travel guides such as TripAdvisor and Triposa include free open street maps which you can use offline without having to pay roaming fees. In case you want to have a sat nav based on free open street maps, you can download the OSM and app which provides full and free satellite navigation for countries from all over the world. The same holds for dictionaries and language guides. There are a number of free offline dictionaries such as offline dictionaries which allows you to download free dictionaries for a large number of languages. Public transport maps and schedules can be downloaded as PDF files in case there are no apps or if you prefer to have them offline. Last but not least, using social media for communication with parents or friends at home come in very handy, particularly when you go abroad. You can make free phone calls with Skype over a Wi-Fi connection from a fast food restaurant or from the student's host parents. Free text messages can be sent with WhatsApp. Photos can be shared on Flickr or social network sites, such as Facebook. This is the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it.